Here we see the upper part of the installation. In the background, we recognize the fuel reactor with a cyclone separator attached. The fuel reactor exhaust gas is cooled in a heat exchanger and is sent to the post-combustion chamber. The same can be found for the air reactor. We see here the air reactor exit towards the cyclone. The air reactor exhaust gas is also cooled in a heat exchanger and sent to the post-combustion. In the uppermost part of the construction we find spring suspensions for compensation of thermal expansions. At several positions in the reactor system compensators are used to reduce thermal stress. All heat exchangers are operated with boiling water at atmospheric pressure. The water is supplied from a steam drum by natural circulation. Only the uppermost cooling jacket of the air reactor is equipped with a pump for forced circulation to ensure sufficient flow. The produced steam is partly condensed using cooling water in a tube-in-tube -tube heat exchanger. The condensate flows back into the steam drum and excess steam is drained to the rainwater system. The sampling for online gas analysis takes place out of the cooled streams. Valves allow for imposing defined back pressure on each side of the reactor system. Then the gas streams are mixed in the post-combustion chamber which is attached to a fire tube boiler. The fire tube boiler exhaust gas is cleaned up in a back filter before being sent to the chimney. In case of an emergency shutdown, the installation is automatically flushed with nitrogen. For safe handling of potentially hazardous solids, a portable lock has been built in combination with pneumatic transport lines. Quick release couplings are used to properly seal the solids from the laboratory environment. The plant is monitored using computer integrated process control. After insulation and hot commissioning in late 2007, the first experiments with chemical looping operation were run in January 2008. A natural mineral is used as bad material in these first experiments. Nevertheless, good fuel conversion can be reported for mixtures of carbon monoxide and hydrogen, the typical products of coal gasification. The great advantages of this natural material are low procurement costs and environmental harmlessness. Later, designed particles for optimized hydrocarbon conversion will be tested. The fluid dynamic behavior of the hot unit reflects the cold flow model predictions well. The typical operating temperature is between 850 and 950 degrees Celsius. Up to now, the results are highly promising.